Hi, this is Pat Love back with Pat's Two Cents. I really thought I was done, but God dropped Psalms 31 in my heart. Now, anytime I feel led to read scripture, I know there's somebody out there who needs to hear it. And oftentimes, God will use his word to show you just how in tuned he is to what you're feeling at the moment done it to me a million times that's how I know that okay so here we go Psalms 31 in thee O Lord do I put my trust let me never be ashamed deliver me in thy righteousness bow down thy ear to me deliver me speedily be thou my strong rock for a house of defense to save me for thou art my rock and my fortress therefore for thy name's sake lead me and guide me pull me out of the net that they have laid privily for me pat's two cents privily means privately secretly all right Pull me out of the net that they have laid privily for me, for thou art my strength. Into thine hands I commit my spirit. Thou hast redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. I have hated them that regard lying vanities, but I trust in the Lord. I will be glad and rejoice in thy mercy, for thou hast considered my trouble. Thou hast known my soul in adversities and has not shut me up into the hands of mine enemy thou has set my feet in a large room have mercy upon me O Lord for I am in trouble my eye is consumed with grief yea my soul and my belly for my life is spent with grief and my years with sighing and my strength faileth because of my iniquity and my bones are consumed i was a reproach among mine enemies but especially among my neighbors and a fear to mine acquaintances they excuse me and a fear to mine acquaintance they that did see me without fled from me I am forgotten as a dead man, out of mind. I'm like a pelican vessel. I'm sorry. I'm like a broken vessel. For I have heard the slander of many. Fear was on every side. While they took counsel together against me, they devised to take away my life. But I trusted in thee, O Lord. I said, Thou art my God. My times are in thy hands. Deliver me from the hand of mine enemies and from them that persecute me. Make thy face to shine upon thy servant. Save me for thy mercy's sake. Let me not be ashamed, O Lord. For I have called upon thee. Let the wicked be ashamed and let them be silent in the grave. <coughs> Excuse me. Let the lying lips be put to silence which speak grievous things proudly and contemptuously against the righteous. Oh, how great is thy goodness, which thou hast laid up for them that fear thee, which thou hast wrought for them that trust in thee, before the sons of men. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. <clears throat> thou shalt hide them in the secret of thy presence, from the pride of men. Thou shalt keep them secretly in a pavilion from the strife of tongues. Blessed be the Lord, for he has showed me his marvelous kindness in a strong city. For I said in my haste, I'm cut off from before thine eyes. Nevertheless, thou heardest the voice of my supplications when I cried unto thee. O oh, love the Lord, O oh, ye saints, for the Lord preserveth the faithful and plentifully rewardeth the proud doer. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. All oh, ye that hope in the Lord. Mm. 
Well, that's God's word. Now, Pat's two cents. I really hope that encourages you. I hope you understand how in tune to your life and your emotional needs God is. He is very present. He is very aware. His heart and your heart are one. They're not two little separate entities. Your heart is part of him and he's part of your heart now. When you're infused together with Jesus Christ, you're that much more connected to God. Listen, God, as they say about Jesus, is touched with the feeling of your infirmities. He knows your weaknesses. He knows your strengths. He knows what's coming up against you. He knows what resources you don't even have. And he knows what you need, exactly what you need. And sometimes he allows things to happen over a course of time, not to browbeat you, but he is working something inside of you. It's called process, a work in process. He's achieving something that you can't see. That's why he says in his word, my ways are above your ways and my thoughts above your thoughts. So there's no figuring God out. All we can do when we are exasperated at the end of our ropes is trust in God. I'm telling you, God will never leave you nor forsake you. He promised in Joshua, I will not fail you. Be of good courage. As I was with Moses, so will I be with thee. That's a promise. You can take that to the bank. You're not in this thing alone. God is with you. Emmanuel. Be encouraged. And seek God through his word. And you'd be surprised how he will talk right into that spot that hurts. Right into the area where you're afraid. Where you are at in a quandary you're at the end of your rope you don't know what to do yeah God will settle you and then after you're settled and you've gone through the process God will exalt you to safety and God will honor you God bless you